about rheumatoid arthritis? Rheumatoid arthritis, the bad boy. Rheumatoid arthritis is where the immune system, again, the white corpuscles, mm -hmm. are influenced by something intelligent called a spirit of infirmity, mm -hmm. which causes that white corpuscle to look at the connective cartilage of the joints and say, ah, you're the enemy. This time it's not the connective tissue of the organs. This time it's not the pancreatic outlets of the pancreas. Ah, it's the connective. So what happens is that as, as this is inflammation comes and as this eating away of the cartilage occurs, you have you have the you have a knurling, you have the you have oh yeah the like limb. the you have the it limb, all gets the all limb. deformed yeah. yeah because because all all the connective stuff is make it possible for it to be flexing mm -hmm. so we get into rheumatoid arthritis that's skeleton the other was organs mm -hmm. and there was pancreas which is part of organs the skeleton is identity hmm. so when you get into identity. And you get into, you know, I think Pastor Donna has a great teaching called the Sin of Comparisons. She does have a great teaching called that. And uh, we're so busy comparing ourselves to others to have our identity. Now, we are fearfully and wonderfully made, and the hand of God is upon us individually. I'm not a clone of somebody else, and neither are you. I'm not the image of some other human. Not at all. I'm the image of God. So those that, that, that suffer from an, uh, from an image problem, they suffer, mm. they suffer from, from the self-accusation. Remember I said all autoimmune disorders, a person is allergic to themselves. This is coming out of the study of science and the immune system. So how am I allergic to myself and rheumatoid? I don't accept myself as I am. Mm. I, there's something inferior about me. I'm, I'm a missing link, <laughs> or I'm, I'm a whatever. And so a self-accusation. So it's a very big, not the identity issue that produces Alzheimer's. That's a different one. This one has to do with personal identity. Wow. That's, I never knew that. Well, what you said about rheumatoid arthritis, that was, that was deep. Well, that was good. What does it affect them the most? It changes their identity. It, it makes them into, 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 they become influence type people. Right. Because they don't, and then they, 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 they're deformed. And they really have an image issue. They have an image issue. After, you know, they're not looking. So the enemy so. gives them exactly where they're at. Wow. What about multiple sclerosis? Multiple sclerosis um, is, again, another autoimmune disorder in which the white corpuscles decide the myelin sheath, like, I got the little cord right here, see it? Let's get my microphone. There's, I guess, what's that, rubber or something? Uh, synthetic? What is around this thing? Something synthetic. Something synthetic. <laughs> but inside is a wire. Carrying Copper. A, carrying electricity. And so this protects me from, huh, the electricity. And it also protects the electricity cord from being interfered with. Mm -hmm. So this is your nervous system. Every nerve you have looks like this. See? So the white corpuscles have this influencer comes again, a spirit of infirmity, which tells the white corpuscle, uh, the antigen marker on this nerve that you see is the real enemy. Go destroy it. So it goes, da, 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 comes the white corpuscle. He comes and he takes a literal bite out of the myelin sheath. That's called a sclerosis. Hmm. Multiple sclerosis is multiple bites. This is good education here right now. Mm -hmm. It's multiple bites. So what happens is that the nerve is short-circuited. Worse, the white corpuscle is capable of severing the electrical cord itself once it gets past the myelin sheath. It takes another bite, mm. and you have loss of nerve activity progressively, which involves loss of limb activity, mm -hmm. even to the point eventually you, they can't even swallow wow. because everything is shut down. This is a very horrible uh, disease because it, it, it incapacitates a person totally. MS 
I'm going to say it bluntly, is deeply rooted in self-hatred. Why am I here? Who cares? Is the big issue. Oh, who am I? I should have forgot to ask. Who am I? Why am I here? And who cares? It's, it's, it's past that end of the issue of rheumatoid arthritis, David. It's deeper than that. Mm-mm. The MS represents a total rejection of one's identity, not a conflict with it, which rheumatoid arthritis is more of a conflict with that identity. Okay, that makes sense. The MS is a total, total, re, uh, how do I say this? A total um, removal of one's identity because it's rooted in self hatred. What is self hatred? Why am I here? You see, who am I? Why am I here? Who cares? There are forces that come to accuse us to ourselves. Satan, if we ever believe the Bible, and we should, is the accuser of the brethren. He accuses them before them, before God, day and night. So sometimes I tell people, when you feel these deep, deep feelings of self-accusation, these deep feelings of self-loathing and, and this deep, deep identity conflict, you're actually hearing the voice of that accusing spirit that's accusing you to God. Mm. And now you're hearing it. That's why you're told in Scripture in, in 2 Corinthians 10, 5 and 6, you're told to hold every thought captive. You don't have to be ruled by your thoughts and feelings and emotions. You're to be ruled by the Word of God. Period. And here's what the Word of God says about you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made, and the hand of God is upon you. You're even known as sons and daughters. If you're born again, you're known as the sons and daughters of the living Father. You're engraved upon the palms of His hand. Your names are written down in heaven. You're betrothed to the Son one day. Come on, and you're fighting with your identity? You need a conversion. This is good stuff.